I would like to know from Dr. Moore, um, how close the other biblical scriptures or any other religious books, how close do they get to this issue of human reproduction? Um, again, I'm, I'm uh, not uh, completely familiar with the Old and the New T Testament, which uh, I probably should be, uh, although I certainly read a lot when I was a young person. But I have uh, my friends, uh, in fact, one of my nephews who's a clergyman, and he's assured me that there's nothing in the Old or the New Testament uh, other than vague uh, references, but nothing uh, close to what we have here. Uh, because I have put this in both of my embryology books, which are used around the world, the bigger book is in seven languages legally and one illegally. Uh, they're, so they're used around the world. I get letters from people saying uh, this is. Uh, there are these references in in our holy books too. And those of you who have seen the latest edition, in fairness, I did quote from uh, uh, the, the uh, Hindu religion where they make some statements about early development. But again, it's back uh, similar to what uh, the early views we had in the in the 15th and 16th century. So uh, I think that uh, through my contacts, everyone has scanned their own holy books, and I can assure you that if there was anything there that was as good or better, they would be telling me about it because they would want to get international recognition for it. Uh, so uh, I have been asked why I put that information in my historical section. I said, well, I think it's a part of the history of embryology, and although it's been lost to most people for years, I think it's important that it be recorded there. Uh, for those of you that wish more information on this, there is an Islamic edition of, oh, it's really a, an English edition of my book with Islamic editions. My publisher agreed to allow King Abdulaziz University to print this special edition, uh, but it cannot be sold because, of course, they don't, they don't, uh, want it sold in competition to the regular English edition. But uh, I think that uh, Sheikh uh, Mustafa Ahmed could uh, arrange for you to get uh, copies of this edition for, for your libraries. In other words, it's not, you can't purchase it, I understand it, in a regular bookstore, but if you need it for your Muslim libraries, uh, you can uh, purchase this. That was the arrangement that was made with my, uh, my publisher. Uh, and uh, that goes into all the details and many more than, uh, than we've had time to talk about here today.